Hi everybody, it's Carrie. Welcome back to my channel and to another jewelry tutorial. Today's tutorial is, of course, earrings. I have two super simple earrings to share uh, today using beading wire. So let's jump into the video and check out our supplies. Okay, so for our first pair, we've got these super cute, just little triangle earrings right here. Very dangly. So you would need a couple of lengths of beading wire. Your ear wires, I have mm, some four millimeter bicones, some two beads. I have a clam shell, a crimp bead, and then some jump rings. Okay, zoomed in a little bit more, so hopefully you can see them. They're all smaller sized beads. Alrighty, so first we're, we are going to take our piece of beading wire. <clears throat> we're going to add on a tube a bead. We're going to add on a bicone to each side. And then I'm going to add on a tube bead to each side. I'm going to put them into the middle of my wire so I have enough room on each side to work with. I'm going to add my other bicone onto both wires and bring it down. I'm going to straighten it out. One of your tube beads will go down a little bit further. So I'll just um, straighten them out. We're going to add on our clam shell to both of our wires. A hole in this super small. See if I can get both wires in here. I go in there, I just can't see the hole at the moment. Did I get it? I got it. I'm going to open up my clamshell just a little bit and add on my crimp bead to both of my wires again. And bring that down. Okay, I have to grab my crimpers. Then you're going to get in there and crimp that crimp bead down. Good squeeze in there. Make sure that it's good in there. Now we're going to trim our wires. It's time for some new wire cutters. Okay. 
And then we're going to close up our crumb shell. Just give it a little squeeze and close it up. Okay, so now all we have to do is add the jump rings. I did use two on each earring. Uh, you don't have to add two. I just wanted them a little bit longer and then to have um, quite a bit more movement to them. Slightly further opening on that. Let's open that up. Add on your ear wire. Close it up. Make sure you get it good and close. And our first pair is done. Okay, so we will set those aside. Okay, so for our next pair, we're going to make some little teardrop poopy looking earrings. Okay, so for these, you need your piece of beading, a couple pieces of beading wire. I have these little curved tube beads my ear wire. I have my clam shell and my crimp bead. Then I have some corrugated rondelle spacer beads, silver, and then I have these very pretty purpley uh, rainbow rondelles. So I'm going to lay out my pattern that I have on here. So we're going to have our two rondelles. Then we're going to have our one for the top. And then we have five on the bottom. And then we have spacer beads between all of this. And I'm just laying it out just to make sure I get all the beads in the right places. Okay, so that is our pattern for that. So we're going to take our piece of beading wire. I'm going to put a stopper on the end so I don't lose all my beads. And I'm just going to start stringing these on here. And you can use any kind of beads you like. I've got these kind of milky purple. I like iridescent ones. They're super pretty. That one's not cooperating. beads. I think these rondelles are a three by four maybe. My tube bead. Okay, and then I'll finish up with these last beads. Our 
going on there. Okay. So we've got all of our beads on there, except for our one that we saved for the top. I'm going to have a hold of both of my wires. Okay, so our last bead, we are going to add on to both of our pieces, or ends of our beading wire, along with our crimp cover, or our um, clamshell. And then our crimp bead. The holes are broken. Okay. Bring it all down. Make sure your tube beads are curved going the right way. Give each of my wires a tug to make sure that they are as far up there as possible and there will be a little gap because those two beads are kind of fighting for that one spot. So just give those a little tug. I'm going to open my clam shell just a little bit so I can get my pliers in there. Okay, crimp that crimp bead down. Get them in there. a good squeeze. Like so. I got these little wire nippers. I think from Timo. I haven't tried them yet. So let's give them a try. And don't even want to cut that wire. Oh, there we go. Okay. Let's try. Nope. These aren't very good. At least they were only a dollar, so. Alright. So we've got that trimmed. Now we are going to close up our clam shell. Like so. Okay, so now all we have to do is put our ear wire on. Uh, I chose not to add jump rings to this one. But if you want to, go right ahead. our air wire onto there. Close it up. And there is our second pair of earrings. Okay, so I'll put these on the display and we'll take a look at them. Alright, so here are our two pairs of earrings using our beading wire. They were super quick and easy to put together, but really cute. 
let me know if you have a favorite pair leave me a comment down below if you enjoyed my video please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my channel for more videos thanks for watching and have a great day